Hey folks, got a new little cup battle for you today. My opponent is I Davy B, who I believe panned me through Smogun, and that's how we got this battle. But yeah, it's my little cup team, and uh, here we go. Let's begin. Um, my opponent is going to lead off with a Ghastly. I'm not sure, but I think this is probably from Moody Poon's database. Uh, not 100% positive. Anyway, I lead off with my Dwebble. Uh, my opponent's going to go ahead and trick me at this point, and that's going to be less than ideal because I'm going to be tricked a Choice Scarf uh, while my opponent gets my Lumberry, and so I'm going to be locked into setting up Stealth Rocks, which is, again, less than ideal. Um, but I'm going to go, at least it wasn't, you know, Shell Smash because at least now I get to actually do something, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my own Ghastly, uh, predicting... I don't know, one of a number of things. My opponent goes for the Hidden Power, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's Hidden Power Fighting, considering it is a Ghastly, and it reveals that it is actually my Zoroa, which is rather unfortunate, uh, and I'm just gonna have to stay in, take the Sludge Bomb, and die. So bye-bye, Chaos. That is really, really unfortunate, and that I lost my Zoroa that early. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send my Hermione back out. I'm gonna be faster thanks to that Scarf, at least I think so, um, because, you know, Global is the slowest Pokemon in the world. Anyway, my opponent switches out into Chinchou. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Slide, and I'm just hoping that it's gonna do a decent chunk of damage, and indeed it does. So I'm not sure if this Pokemon is running in Yolite, or maybe it is, and this, just Hermione is that amazing. So anyway, it's a two-hit KO. I take out that uh, Chinchou, and that's excellent for me. My opponent now goes into Diglett. I'm locked into Rock Slide. There's nothing I can do because I can't switch out thanks to Arena Trap. Anyway, it looks like Rock Slide is actually going to be a two hit KO. And, you know, I have Sturdy, so I know I can survive an Earthquake. So, yeah, Earthquake is going to actually get me down to five HP. I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I can take this guy out. Except for he carries the Sucker Punch. And I was hoping I could survive that thanks to the fact that I hadn't gotten any Shell Smashes off, but. No, not so much. Um, so, on the free switch, I'm going to go ahead and switch into Nila. And while my opponent goes for the rock slide, which misses, unfortunately, bit of hacks there, sorry, uh, I go ahead and set up a reflect. Now, as you're about to see, that first uh, rock slide missing didn't really matter too much because I could have survived. I would have survived with like 1 HP, but I still would have survived. And isn't that the important thing? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and you turn out at this point, and that's actually the last you're going to see my Mila. So... Again, you know, it's kind of a wash in terms of this, the, that crit, or that uh, mist really didn't matter over much. So now I'm going to send out my real Ghastly, uh, my real Dark Smoke Puncher, who is one of my only Pokemon who is direct from my Gen 4 team, and my opponent switches out into uh, Pichu, and I'm like, huh, Pichu, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Angler, predicting the Volt Tackle, and indeed, my opponent did use Volt Tackle. Um, completely useless. I'm wondering if it's Bandit, uh, because my opponent does switch out there, although it's probably a good idea to switch out. Anyway, uh, I do a really stupid thing here and go for the T-Wave. I actually need to take Thunder Wave off of my Chinchou because, it, uh, and put it on Heal Bell instead, because Heal Bell would be a much better move, especially considering my Chinchou is really one of its big weaknesses is to being toxic, or burned, I guess, but getting residual damage. If it's not for residual damage, this thing can tank all day long. So, yeah, I take out that, uh, that, whatchamacallit, Onyx with a single skull, thanks to the fact that I'd broken Sturdy with Stealth Rocks. My opponent's gonna go for the Iron Tail, revealing that it's probably a Bandit set, maybe Scarf, but anyway, yeah, <laughs> 1 HP worth of damage. Now, that is that is because I'm behind a Reflect, and I need the Olight, so that's actually kind of funny. So, um, Skull does not do enough to KO. My opponent's going to go ahead and call back Shame on me, and is going to go ahead and switch into Wild Chase, which is what everyone names their Dino, because it looks like Wild Chase. I guess. I mean, I've seen pictures of him like once or twice. I don't know. Um, anyway, get the lucky, lucky burn. Excellent for me, because now, you know, I, this, this thing's gonna go for an outrage. I don't have to fear too much. So yeah, here comes the outrage, and I survive with a good amount of HP, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit back with an ice beam. Now, there was a crit here, but I don't know that that really mattered. I'll run the calcs, I'll tell you, but. Then, I mean, I don't know whether that mattered or not. Anyway, at this point, my Reflect wears off. My opponent's going to go into Ghastly. And so I'm thinking, you know, I'm especially defensive. I can probably take whatever this thing's dishing out. It's going to go for the Shadow Ball. 
And, you know, that is going to hit a whole heart, a lot. And I do another stupid move. I go for the Thunder Wave. Why would I go for the Thunder Wave when I know that thing has my Dwebbles Lumberry? That was just so stupid. Oh, so stupid. So stupid. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just, that was just such a stupid move on my part. I don't know why I did it. Anyway. Angler is sacked now. I could have probably KO'd as well because Gastly's are so freaking frail. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Bernie, my Scarf Cyndaquil. Uh, at this range of health, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast. Just figuring, you know, if I take any more damage, Eruption's not going to be the better move. I take out his Gastly in a single hit, and I'm just hoping for no misses here. My opponent sends out his last Pokemon, which is that bouncing Pichu. I'm gonna go ahead and Fire Blast it. Luckily, Fire Blast does not miss, and Cyndaquil cleans up and wins me the match. So, great game, IDVB. Uh, you should check out his channel, I guess. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks!